The real title of this lesson is Total Utility and Marginal Utility, Total Revenue and Marginal Revenue, Total Product and Marginal Product. Concepts different but relation same. Doesn't it sound funny? Let it be. Before we go into the lesson, read these questions carefully. Explain with the help of a diagram the relationship between total utility and marginal utility. This question is from utility analysis. Explain the relationship between total revenue and marginal revenue under imperfect competition. This question is from the lesson revenue. Explain with the help of a diagram the relationship between total product and marginal product. This question is from production. Though these three questions are asked from different chapters, I am going to show you how to deal with these questions by mastering the relation between total utility and marginal utility. Look at this graph. It illustrates the relation between total utility and marginal utility. Well, the relations. First relation. When marginal utility is positive, total utility is increasing. Let me elaborate it. In the segment EM of the marginal utility curve, marginal utility is positive. In the corresponding segment ET, of the total utility curve, total utility is increasing. Second relation, when marginal utility is positive and falling, total utility is increasing at a decreasing rate. In the segment EM of the marginal utility curve, marginal utility is positive and falling. So, in the segment ET, Total utility is increasing at a decreasing rate. Third relation. When marginal utility is zero, total utility is maximum. At point M, marginal utility becomes zero. Corresponding to this at point T on the total utility curve, total utility reaches the maximum. Fourth relation. When marginal utility is negative, total utility falls. In the segment of the marginal utility curve that lies to the right of point M, marginal utility is negative. That segment of the total utility curve which lies to the right of T slopes downwards. Total utility in this segment is falling. These are the four relations that you have to master. How it is going to help you in stating the relation between total revenue and marginal revenue, total product and marginal product. That we shall see now. Look at this graph. The same graph which you have used in the utility analysis is presented again. Of course, with some modifications. The shape of the marginal utility curve is changed. It is extended up to Y axis. Its label is changed to MR. Turn to total utility curve. Its lower segment is extended up to the origin. Label is changed to TR. The label of Y axis is changed to TR and MR. These are the two variables used in the revenue analysis. As you are going to measure the number of units sold, the label of x-axis 
quantity is kept as it is. Now the diagram is ready. The same relation used in the utility analysis is going to be used with small changes. Watch. First relation. When marginal revenue is positive, total revenue is increasing. In the segment EM of the marginal revenue curve, marginal revenue is positive. In the corresponding segment OT of the total revenue curve, total revenue is increasing. Second relation. When marginal revenue is positive and falling, total revenue is increasing at a decreasing rate. In the segment EM of the marginal revenue curve, marginal revenue is positive and falling. So, in the segment OT, total revenue is increasing at a decreasing rate. Third relation, when marginal revenue is zero, total revenue is maximum. At point M, marginal revenue becomes zero. Corresponding to this at point T on the total revenue curve, TR reaches the maximum. Fourth relation, when marginal revenue is negative, total revenue falls. In the segment of the marginal revenue curve that lies to the right of point M, marginal revenue is negative. That segment of total revenue curve which lies to the right of T slopes downwards. Total revenue in this segment is falling. See, the same statements are used to describe the relation between total revenue and marginal revenue. See how simple it is. We shall now see how the relations that we have been learning so far is going to help us in understanding the relation between total product and marginal product. Look at this graph. The shape of the marginal revenue curve is changed to reflect the tendency of marginal product. It starts from the origin. It slopes upward to start with. After reaching the maximum, it slopes downward. The labels are changed to represent the variables used in production. Total product and marginal product are represented along the y-axis. Along the x-axis, number of laborers are measured. The label of total revenue is changed to total product and that of marginal revenue is changed to marginal product. The graph is ready. Now the relations. First relation. When marginal product is positive, total product is increasing. In the segment OM of the marginal product curve, marginal product is positive. In the corresponding segment OT of the total product curve, total product is increasing. Since the shape of marginal product curve is totally different from that of downward sloping marginal utility and marginal revenue curves, depending upon the shape of the marginal product curve, we have to add two more relations. In the present case, the second relation becomes the fourth relation for this. Fourth relation. When marginal product is positive and falling, total product is increasing at a decreasing rate. In the segment EM of the marginal product curve, marginal product is positive and falling. So in the segment ST, total product is increasing at a decreasing rate. What are the other two relations? Well, here it is. Second relation. When marginal product is positive and increasing, total product is increasing at an increasing rate. In the segment OE, marginal product curve is positive and increasing. 
corresponding to this segment OS on the total product curve, total product is increasing at an increasing rate. Third relation, when marginal product is maximum, total product is increasing at a constant rate. At point E, marginal product is maximum. At point S, total product is increasing at a constant rate. The remaining two relations are the same with small changes in variables. Fifth relation. When marginal product is zero, total product is maximum. At point M, marginal product becomes zero. Corresponding to this at point T on the total product curve, total product reaches the maximum. Sixth relation. When marginal product is negative, total product falls. In the segment of the marginal product curve that lies to the right of the point M, marginal product is negative. That segment of the total product curve which lies to the right of T slopes downwards. Total product in this segment is falling. Our lesson ends here. Before I conclude, let me give you a bonus tips. You shall use the relation between total product and marginal product while answering the questions. Explain the law of variable proportions with the help of a diagram. Discuss the three stages of the law of variable proportions with the help of diagrams. In which stage will a rational producer like to operate? Or any other question on law of variable proportion? We shall meet in the next lesson.